What's going on guys, King Shratz here back in the video on the channel and today we are back with another episode of Highest Rated. Highest Rated Diners in my area. We took it to a place called Candlewick Diner. It is located in East Rutherford, New Jersey and on Google it has a 4.2 rating out of 2,000 ratings. Now, most diners around here average the good ones between a 4.1 and a 4.4. Most of the highest rated. Um, this one actually was voted by best of NJ.com. There's like a blog. Uh, they specialize in kind of ranking different places. It was voted one of the top diners in New Jersey. And a lot of my favorite diners were on that list. So I'm going to take their word for it and say that it's valid. And um, I got some things that were actually not very conventional, but I want to try some weird or new stuff. So we went with a bunch of appetizers. I don't just get like bacon and eggs and stuff because it, like every diner to me serves stuff like that. But what do you have that's weird? And of course the institution, which we will get to later. So I started with some appetizers I saw that made absolutely no sense. I also wanted to get some famous bread pudding. They didn't have any famous bread pudding. So that's probably a good sign because it's famous. Dang, you ain't got none. It is what it is. So anyway, let's get into some of these. Y'all know I'm a wing guy. So I had to start with some wings. I saw they had about five or six different flavors, but these wings made absolutely no sense. I never had them, so I had to try them. Thai peanut wings. Yes, Thai peanut wings. And you can smell the peanut butter all over these, but Luckily, it does have a saucy kind of feel to it, like they didn't just slather peanut butter on them. But yes, these have... I'm drooling. I, I can't even talk. Oh, that is interestingly good. Mm, wait. Second, no? You get the peanut right away, but then it starts hitting you with these spices, the chili, and a little bit of heat to it. That is a different kind of flavor that I've had on a wing. Wait, what is this? This, see this crispy piece right here? I think they didn't cut the wing off the wing. Hold on a second. Oh, mm. that's a like a, a, such a, a different flavor than I'm used to. Spicy peanut. Mmm. I like these a lot. Fried crispy. I've had wings like four days in a row, and I'm not even mad about that. But what really makes this is the sauce. It's like one of those things I just can't stop eating. It's like curiously good, where you're like, I'm getting a different taste every single time. I love, love that peanut taste with the chili flakes. I can even see the chili flakes on here. And, and, the, and the additional spice to it. And the sauce is like thick, so it really, there's that word thick again, coats the chicken. I'm going to borrow this sauce. I'm going to need them to lob me like a jar of it. Because all I can think about is how much I'd enjoy these. Have you ever had, uh, like, the Thai, the, the peanut noodles? I've never had them spicy like this. I might make something like this. They done got me going. I I can do it. So this, this is legit. And I swear to you, every wing place in North Jersey uses the exact same wing provider. They get these Mondo wings from somewhere. I don't know what kind of, you know, bodybuilding diet these wings are on but every place in North Jersey has them I, I just ate this type of wing from it's just wings yesterday but I think everybody gets them for a reason they are the best I gotta get one more of these look at all oh, this this woman this one on bang look at this right here this one on bang look at that look at that look at that look at that that is just mmm that's good, I like it a lot. Especially when you get them coated in that sauce like, oh man. Mm. 
<clears throat> I'm beginning to think I actually do like everything at this point. This is like when you hear me start smacking like this, because I've been trying to lick my own lips like LL Cool J back in '97. Like you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like some wings open no. <laughs> Did I just really do that? I did. Okay, moving right along behind door number two. Philly cheesesteak egg rolls. I repeat, Philly cheesesteak egg rolls. And these things actually do look kind of official. I already cut one open for you just so you can see. Just in case you wanted the other half. Look at this. Look it up. Let me see. Mmm. 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 I'm gonna be honest. Why wouldn't I be? I've had Philly cheesesteak rolls a couple of times from different diners, but I've never had one that tastes like this. And I'm not like saying that to, they don't know me. Like I'm not trying to big them up. And what I mean is, a lot of times the flavor is not strong enough inside the Philly cheesesteak. You're like, oh, it kind of tastes like, and it kind of like comes across like a fucking hot pocket. You know what I'm saying? This one. Let me see if I can open this up a little bit. They actually have real, like you would put this in a sandwich type of stuff. A lot of times they dice it up too small and there's not enough cheese. But this thing, if you just took the filling out and put it inside some bread, you'd have actually a legit Philly cheesesteak. You get what I'm saying? Like every bite, I'm getting mouthfuls of cheese, chunks of cheesesteak, the, 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 the shaved ribeye, and, and, and the peppers. Can y'all see that? I hope so. I got a good camera. The egg roll thing just makes it a little more fun to eat. But if you put that inside of bread, a wrap, a foot, I don't know whose foot, but it'd still be legit. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Is bacon in here? Is it bacon? No, that's rip. Wow. Okay. For those who are saying that there's no steak in here, I'm picking out whole things of steak. Y'all want to see one? Hold on. I don't like sticking my hand and stuff, stuff like this because it's just weird. Weirdo behavior, but. That's a steak piece. So you can see this. This shit shaved down. I know somebody was thinking it. Because every time I showed the camera, there's mushrooms in here too. Good flavor. Mm. And the egg roll itself is big as hell. Um, yeah, no. Big pieces of cheese, too. Nice. Nice job. So far, two for two and a appetizers. This one next is something I kind of just picked off the menu because I, I like this kind of food, but it didn't come out the way that I expected it to. So I got spiced chicken samosas, which is what you see over here. Now, I thought of like the Indian food, but this came a little different. So what we have is seasoned chicken in, you can see this is phyllo dough. And I didn't expect that. And I'm not quite sure what to think. I'm just hoping they're good at this point. Cause when I, they, this was the one that was on the top of the container when I was like, what the hell is that? And then I realized, oh, these are my samosas. Okay, anyway. Why sometimes I take the second bite and now it's starting to grow on me? Um, now I'm getting that samosa taste, to be honest. I don't really know how I feel about it in the phyllo dough. The phyllo dough, I need a little more crisp to it. Like, I'm not getting a crunch. You know what I'm saying? So I'm conflicted on these. Conflicted is like my new word. You see, I'm not getting no crunch. And I guess maybe that's, I don't want to blame me, nah, that's their fault, listen. This is weird, the chicken inside is actually good. I expected it to be kind of dry when I looked at it and then I started eating it, it was like, it's not dry at all. 
and the more I bite it, the more it grows on me to the point that I can't even say that I don't like it no more. Look inside. I feel like the name sucks. Like, I, don't, I wouldn't call this a samosa because I'm expecting it to be a football looking thing. So. The filo dough is kind of like hit or miss for me. I'm getting certain bites where it's a little flaky and other bites where it's kind of chewy. And I'm, you know what I mean? So, this, I would have preferred it in something else. But the chicken is decent, it's good. But it's not, it's not anything, I wouldn't get these again. You know what I mean? Isn't that mid? That's what mid means? These are mid. See, now it's crispy. Stop, bro. Just, like, be consistent. Can't even be. Now it's crispy. Half of it was soggy as hell. The other half was crispy and delicious. And then you get one bite, and it's kind of dry. And I bit it again, and it wasn't dry. This is like the troll. I'm just getting a decent amount. I just... Weird. I don't want that. Weird. Good, but weird. I don't know. Kind of good. How would you describe that? Somebody give me a description in the, in, the, in the caption, please. In the caption. In the, in the, in the comments. Because I don't know what the hell I want to say about this. It's good, but it sucks. It's delicious, but I wouldn't eat it again. One bite, tremendous. Next bite, flaky. Next bite, soggy. Next bite, not so soggy. It has a pea, but there's only peas on one side of it. I can see one carrot, but it's over here. There's no carrots on this side. This is a contradiction. I'm still taking another bite because I, I don't know. I'm taking another chance. Well, nope, foggy. Fuck. Okay. Moving on. No music with chairs. I'm going to be per like this. If I like these, I I'm going to be the most shocked person I've ever seen in my life. The listen to this description and then see what I got. Okay. I'm going to show you all real quick. These are sticky fries. All right. And this is the description as I show you this. Our sweet potato fries topped with maple syrup, pecans, cinnamon, and powdered sugar. What the f am I looking at? This is like when you have a blind date and they describe themselves and everything sounded perfect and you got there and you're like, hold up now. This is not what you look like in your pictures. That's what I feel like right now. Because I see pecans and I can see like a slight dusting of cinnamon and there looks like there's some sort of sticky substance on here. But in my head, I did not expect this to pop out. So I'm going to try them because I'm going to have to pay for them so I'm going to have to do something with it. But this is not, does not seem like it's bringing in points. I'm not going to lie. Like, what is this, bro? Like, I don't see any powdered sugar. Oh, fuck me. See, people think like like food blogging is just this glamorous job, and you gotta eat stupid shit like this. Do y'all see it? In no way. Right, hear me out. Say you went on a blind date. Ladies, this is more for y'all. I don't want to come off misogynistic, so I'm going to turn to the analogy. Say you went on a blind date with a guy, and he didn't really look as good as you thought when you saw him in person. Right? Maybe his gear wasn't right, his clothes, he wasn't dressed right. All right? So man's come and sit down, you sit down, and he ain't dressed right. But then later on, I don't know, you're at a pool party. So man takes your shirt off. God body. You're like, oh, more. You just hiding under there the whole time? That's these fries. They look like shit. I was ready to take these fries and chuck them across my room. Then you bite them. And you like, hold on, do I taste them? Got a little maple syrup. Okay. Then you get to the bottom and they get drippy drips, right? What the hell is this?
there's no powdered sugar on these whatsoever. If there was, it would look a lot better. You could just cover it up. But they didn't want to do that to me. I don't know what they were doing with these pecans because you just put some whole ass pecans on here and you probably could have like crushed them up or did something to it. But aesthetically, these are the stupidest fries I've ever seen in my life. They look like shit. When you eat them, the sweet potato with the maple syrup, the cinnamon, they're actually really damn good. I did not expect that because you can't see shit on these fries. Look, plain ass sweet potato fries. And they're not sticky. They're more slimy than anything. But just the one, right? Fellas and ladies, I'm putting this, you ever date somebody? Go out with somebody? Everybody around you thinks they're ugly as hell and you think they <clears throat> look good. All your friends are like, I don't know why you with him. And you be like, that's my boy, I like him. That's these fries. I don't even want to tell nobody I like them. I don't want nobody to know. I'm not claiming these fries. But they're damn good. I don't even really like sweet potato fries, man. Very silently, I've eaten half of these fries. That's why you just gotta try stuff, man. Are there ways to improve these fries? Hell yeah. Are they perfect fries? Not even close. I expected these to be like a 3 out of 10. And they're closer to about a 7. They're not perfect. You could do 70 other things to make these fries good. But it's a respectable fry. It is an edible fry. It's a pretty good fry. I expected dog shit. Not dog shit. Good. The fry itself too thick. Nice cut. Super strong. Hey. Eh? I take them out on a date. What's up, baby? Take me out of there. Bing bong. And last but definitely not least, we got the New Jersey Institution. You cannot go to a diner in New Jersey and not get these. You have to try them at least once. The Disco Fry. Canadians, I'm sorry, it is not poutine. Yes, they are cousins. Yes, they are related. Yes, they are similar. But Disco Fries are Disco Fries. You want to call them something different? Knock yourself out. It's like calling a hot dog a bratwurst. Yes, they are similar, but there are differences. Anyway, fries with mozzarella, husky mozzarella, and gravy. Okay? They started because dudes in the 70s, I don't know. If you're from Jersey, you know you know. If you don't, just sit back and don't start on with the only poutine thing. Just stop. I'm, I'm just nothing to fight over, bro. It's food. We love each other. Anyway, let's go. This smelled really good in the car. So. Oh, nah, man. I don't know about these. This gravy look kind of pale. I don't know about these. I'm not going to lie. Like, I've eaten a lot of disco fries in my life. I've never had them this pale, but... Y'all on strike? Hold on now. Wait a second. What the fuck? Gravy? Look at this gravy, bro. I've eaten a lot of disco fries in my life, man. Those are among the worst. They kind of taste like dishwater, bro. The gravy is just not it. Like, you could see, you could, before I even bit them, okay? This is one of those times when people talk about, he don't keep it real, he don't like everything. I'm, I'm not lying. I never lie. You saw my face. My facial expressions very much give it away. You saw my face when I lifted up the cheese and saw the gravy. You saw it immediately. I changed my whole tune. The gravy, it, it just turned me off from the get-go. It's usually when you get disco fries, the gravy is more of like a darker brown gravy, if that makes sense. Like, this is like pale, 
and it, it it's not it's not good like out of the gravy it tastes weird like it, i don't like it um the cheese they gave a good amount and i was excited it smelled good in the car um I, if you would have told me before this video that this shit would have been better than this shit i would have called you an idiot those are delicious these are dog shit the appetizers were good um as far as the diner goes I would say a 4.1 is pretty accurate. Um, it's good. It's a good diner. They got some good stuff and some not so good stuff. Um, there are definitely better diners in this area, in my opinion. Uh, I'm going to try to get to some more. And um, I, I would eat here again, but it was it's one of those places where you'd have to really like, I would never get those disco fries again. Like, the only way I would probably eat here again is if I like... Like I was in the area and I was like, okay, but there's, uh, anybody knows in New Jersey and, and there's, there's a lot better stuff in my area. We're going to get to some of those. I know there's one specific one that I don't feel like driving there, but everybody loves it. These are delicious, by the way. I know I said that. So I'll be on the video, man. Um, decent, good. 4.1 is pretty accurate. I think I'm right on the same as everybody else. We'll be back though tomorrow. More content. I love that. I hand signs. They made it to YouTube.